Hey guys, it's Marianne, and I know it's been a while since I have made a video, but I was on the beach last week and got super bad sunburn, even with sunscreen on, and I was just miserable, and I was not even on YouTube that much. I have so many videos to catch up on watching. Um, my face started, like, peeling on my forehead, so I didn't want to do a video like that. Um, so I was really putting it off a lot, and, um... Finally, I'm able to make a video. Um, I don't have much makeup on. I didn't do anything with my hair today because I've been inside today. Um, I have my sunglasses on because they're going to be part of my favorites for July because this is my July favorites video. Um, and I thought it was appropriate to wear them, but um, I guess I could take them off for a little bit. Um, I haven't been able to get my eyebrows done or waxed because... Um, I had obviously sunburn on my forehead and I didn't want to go and like have somebody put hot wax um, on my eyebrows and like rip it off. I thought that would be really painful. So um, this is my July favorites video and obviously my sunglasses is the first one. I absolutely love these. I got them from Forever 21 for like five bucks. Um, they're, um, I just, I love them. I think they're amazing. Um, I can't see spending loads of money on sunglasses because I'm so clumsy with sunglasses. Um, I'm always throwing them somewhere or, like, or accidentally sitting on them and throwing them in my purse. So, these have been through a lot. Um, and surprisingly, there's no scratches on them and they're not broken. So, I'm going to keep them on for this video. There we go. Um, I know this video is a little bit late, but I figured better late than never, so... Okay, so my first product is my MAC um, MSF Natural in Medium Plus. Um, and I believe I had this in a favorites video before, but I have been using this a lot for this month as my foundation, actually. Um, I don't like wearing liquid foundation in the summer because obviously you walk outside and you feel like your makeup is melting off your face. Um, and it's hard for me to find a powder foundation that gives me the coverage that I want. Um, and I was really surprised when I tested this out and I realized that this gives really good coverage. Um, it works really well as a foundation for the summer. And I forgot whose video I was watching that they said that they use this as their foundation. I don't know. I'll think about it when I, when I remember who. I'll put an annotation somewhere with their username. Um, but I've been absolutely loving this. The next product is also a MAC product, and it's their eyeshadow in the color Steamy, and it's a frost, and it looks like that, and I'm sure everybody has seen this, but I just got this very recently, um, and it's a really pretty kind of blue teal color, and I've been absolutely loving this. I wore this a lot this month. Um, I think it's a really pretty color um, for the summertime. The next product is this Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in the color Flipside. Um, and this is the color right there. Um, I'm really loving this eyeliner color. I think it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger than they really are. Um, my eyes aren't as big as I would like them to be. Um, and I think this is a nice change from the typical black eyeliner that I usually wear. Um, and I think blue is a fun color for the summertime. So. This isn't the full size. This is actually the one that came with the Alice in Wonderland palette by Urban Decay as well. Um, but I think once I finish this, I might have to go repurchase this color because I really, really like it. It's a really pretty color. Um, and it actually goes perfectly with um, the MAC Steamy eyeshadow. The next product is Revlon's Lip Gloss in Coral Reef. And everybody has seen this, but for the few people that might not have. I will do a quick swatch. I don't know if my camera is going to pick up the color. Um, now that I have a little bit of tan, which you probably can't even tell really because um, I have so many lights on just to help with the colors and all that, um, but I'm not a ghost anymore. Um, this looks really nice with the tan and I hope you guys can see it. It's right there. Um, it looks really, really nice with like a tan. Um, sometimes I'll put this over like a nude lipstick and it makes like a really nice combination. Um, so I've absolutely been loving that. The next product is the EOS Lip Balm in Summer Fruit and you have all seen this as well. I have a piece of my hair there. Um, I put this on every morning when I get out of the shower and I put it on every night before bed. I find this to be very moisturizing for me. Um, I think it creates a nice 
kind of base um, for before you put on your lipstick or your lip liner or lip gloss. Um, so obviously, like when I'm doing my makeup, before I put anything on, I'll put this on again um, because I put it on, like I said, right after the shower as well. Um, and I'll kind of look, I'll let it settle, then I'll do my foundation, everything else on my face, and then I'll do my lips last. Um, and this really helps lipsticks and all kinds of lip products just glide on really nicely. So I'm loving, loving, loving this. Um, I can't find the other, I think there's a lemon one and a honeydew one, but I can't find them anywhere. And I'm so upset, but um, I'm going to keep looking for them. But for now, I mean, I'm loving the summer fruit one, so that works for me for now. The next product is from Bath & Body Works, and it is their Forever Sunshine Body Spray. And I just got this very recently, like last week, so it looks like I barely used any. Um, but I love the way this smells. I'm so bad at describing scents. It just, to me, it smells like suntan lotion, um, but like the really good kind. Um, like not the kind, not like self-tanners. Um, but like actual suntan lotion that just smells really nice and summery. Um, so I'm really, really loving this. Um, and I think I might actually go back and get more because um, I'm so afraid that after summer's over they're not going to have this anymore. And I just think this is a really, really nice scent. So that's the Forever Sunshine by Bath & Body Works. Um, the next product is my Secret Body Lotion in Vanilla and Coconut. Um, this has come in very handy um, when or with my sunburn that I had. Um, it helped a lot. It helped relieve a lot of the burn that I felt. Um, I did a whole review video on this, so I'll put a link to that in the information bar below if you're interested. Um, this also helped a lot with the peeling that I was experiencing because I know sometimes I don't I don't know if everybody experiences this, um, but when you get really bad sunburn, obviously your skin it like dries out and it starts to peel and this really helps put the moisture back into my skin. Um, it didn't make it burn even more because I know people say when they have sunburn they don't like to use creams because of the perfumes in it. Um, this didn't make it worse. It helped so much and I was living by this and aloe to be honest with you. So really, really loving that. Ooh, the next product is um, Pantene's new Fine Hairstyle Spray. It's their Heat Protectant and Shine Spray. And Pantene came out with a whole new formulation and all different um, lines from their shampoo and all that. Um, and I got all the stuff for the fine hair. I got the shampoo, the conditioner. Um, I think there was a mousse that I got too. I don't know, it's upstairs. Um, and I got this, and I'm absolutely loving it. I have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it, so it makes that, it makes it really hard to get the volume that I want. Um, this, the whole line has really helped me. I don't obviously have this in my hair right now because I didn't do anything with my hair today. But this really does, I mean, it definitely protects your hair from the heat. I've noticed a difference um, after I flat iron my hair as well. Um, and it really does give you a really nice shine. So I'm absolutely loving that. And the last product, if it sounds like I'm going fast, it's just because I'm talking fast because I my camera cuts me off at 10 minutes. I know YouTube did like this new 15 minute limit thing, but my camera cuts me off at 10 minutes. So I still have to go by that 10 minute thing until I get a new camera. Um, the last product is my uh, starfish necklace from 60clothing.com, and I also did a review on that as well. I absolutely love this necklace. I have been wearing it every day. It's so summery and cute, and it just goes with anything, really. Um, it's simple um, silver, and it's just a cute little charm on the bottom. I've worn it even to the beach a few times. Um, I just think it's adorable. I love it. Um, so those are my products for this month, and of course my sunglasses, but I already told you about them. Um, not really too much, because in the summer I don't like to use a whole lot of makeup. Um, again, because you walk outside and you feel like your makeup is melting off your face. Um, so that is it. Um, I'm sorry it's kind of late. If you guys did a July favorites video, leave them as a video response below, or you can just type in the comment section what your favorites for this month have been. Um, I'll probably record one more video tonight, and I'll put that up tomorrow, and then tomorrow I'll record um, another video. I do have an outfit of the day I have to do, or that I want to do, um, a tutorial.